What's going on folks? Welcome back to the Virtual Steve Show. Uh, I got Bellatro running in VR and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the same. It works amazingly with touch controls, it works amazingly with pass-through. It's just a really good experience to play in VR. Uh, as you can see everything works great. You can use your little pointers here. You can touch things, you can obviously just use your controllers, but um, I find this experience really amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set all this up now. I'm gonna show you how to install and play Bellatro on standalone Quest headset. Uh, I'm using Quest 3. I'm assuming this will work on other headsets as well. Uh, so there's several requirements for this. Uh, firstly, we need to make sure we have the game owned on Steam. So I am gonna pull up Steam here and navigate to the Bellatro store page, buy the game. And if you already own it, then we're gonna to skip to the next step here. Uh, we wanna to navigate to the folder where the executable is located. So if you search for Bellatro in your library, right click, browse to local files. Uh, we now know where the executable is. Um, so we're gonna minimize this because we're gonna use that file later in the process here. Okay, now you want to head over to the Blake502 GitHub page for Bellatro APK Maker. Link in the description. Uh, there's some really good stuff in the README here. Definitely take a look at some of that. Tells you some of the settings you can use and tweak. But um, we're not going to mess around with that too much. We're just going to go ahead and download the executable, uh, which you can get from the Quick Start Guide here. Download that. We want this one here under Assets. And I'm going to install it to this brand new folder I made on my desktop called Bellatro. So that's where we're going to put the executable. Okay, let's open our Bellatro folder that we put on the desktop that now just has the executable in it. Uh, in order to make this work, uh, we are going to need to put the Bellatro executable from Steam there. So we'll pull this window back open. We'll just drag and drop it in here. Now let's launch the Bellatro APK Maker. Uh, click more info, run anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna fly through these settings. Um, would you like to automatically clean up once complete? Sure. Would you like to enable extra logging information? Yes. Would you like to build for Android? Yes. It's a Quest 3, uses Android. Uh, if you don't have Java installed already, I have it installed because I went through this process. Uh, after Java is installed, you probably will have to relaunch this executable but I already have it installed, so it's doing its thing. Uh, would you like to apply the FPS cat patch? I'm gonna select no, uh, so you can lock the FPS to something that you want. Uh, it's been running fine for me with setting this as no, but you can choose um, the FPS that you want the game to be displayed at. Would you like to apply the landscape orientation required for high DPI? I've been using yes for this, seems to be working great. Uh, would you like to apply the high DPI patch? Yes. Would you like to apply the CRT shader disable patch? We're gonna do no. We wanna still be able to use that shader. And it's gonna make its APK file. Okay, would you, so build successful. So we already have the .apk, so I think we can kind of end it here if we need to, but I'll just go through these prompts. Uh, would you like to automatically install it to your Android device? This is a feature that's added to this. You can, I think, plug in your phone, or maybe you can even install it to the Quest, but. We're going to be using SideQuest because we need another app to get this to work better. So we're going to select no. Would you like to transfer saves from your Steam copy of Bellatro? That's pretty cool. You can do that, but we're going to select no. Uh, would you like to pull saves from your Android device? No. This is just going to be like a fresh install. It's nice that those options are there. I haven't tested those yet. Okay, so it's good to go. So now we want to go get our Dex Max app. And I'm going to go there now. Links in the description. Okay, this is where I downloaded Dex Max from. It's an app that allows you to run um, 2D apps in the Quest much better. So this will work for any kind of uh, 2D game that you're trying to play on Quest. But this is the first time I used it. This is where I got it from. So we're going to download the APK. You'll probably get some strange warnings in that. Just keep hitting close. Mm, okay, we want this one. Download APK. And there it goes. I'm gonna put this in my desktop folder for that new Bellatro folder that we had here. So it's just all in the same place. And now we need to get SideQuest going. So if you haven't uh, installed SideQuest yet, now's the time to do that. There's lots of, uh, it can be kind of complicated, the SideQuest thing, but 
just YouTube, how to use side quests and how to side load things. I'll show you guys how to use it, but you might need to look at additional videos um, if you need to learn more about side quests. But go here and download the app. Not even sure where it is, but somewhere in this website, you can download the desktop application. Uh, but I'm gonna launch side quest now. All right, now we got side quest launched. I have my quest three already connected via USB. So there's this button up here where you can install APKs from your computer. So in that same desktop uh, Bellatro folder, we're gonna install both the Bellatro APK and the Dexmax APK. So we'll do the Bellatro one first. This one takes a little bit longer. Uh, you can click this button up top here to see the progress of it. Uh, it just says installing. Give it a second. There it is. Now we will install the other Dexmax app. Okay, now that we have both the Dexmax app installed and the Bellatro app installed, uh, I'm gonna show you how to launch it. So uh, you wanna launch it using this Dexmax app, which can be found going to applications, filtering on unknown sources, and click it. And then you wanna navigate to your Bellatro app and launch it through here. So now you're good to go. You can play Bellatro in your Quest headset. And what's really great about this is because of Dexmax has all these scaling features in it, the game just looks amazing in here. Um, and you can actually rescale the window as well. So you can scale it small, large. The resolution is extremely high compared to uh, not using the Dexmax app. So next I will show you what it looks like if you don't use the Dexmax app because it doesn't look so great. Okay, so this is how you would launch the game if you didn't have Dexmax installed, and this is what it would look like. So you would just go to your unknown sources again, you would click Bellatro, and the window would open here. But as you will see, you cannot change the scale of the game. It's locked at this fixed ratio. So that's the whole reason I put the Dexmax app in this tutorial, and I think it's pretty necessary because, as you will see, we'll get into a game here, um, the text is just really not that legible. Let's get the screen up nice and close here. And also this screen size when you're using this tablet mode is very small. So you gotta pull it really close to your face. Um, it might not come through in the recording, but in the headset, it's, this text is almost unreadable. Now I would say if you already know how to play the game, you already know the rules, uh, the text is not a big deal. It's certainly readable, but uh, it's not that good. Um, so if you're not using Dex Max, you can still play the game in VR. Uh, I would recommend turning off the um, CRT shader here. And that will give you a little bit more visibility on some of the text. So again, I don't recommend playing it this way. I recommend running it through Dex Max app. And that's why I included it in the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and play yourself some uh, Bellatro in your MetaQuest headset wherever you are. Have a great day.